All right, I guess we are up and running here. So, all right, hey guys, how's it hanging everybody? This is Storm Pow, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We are doing a live stream here on YouTube instead of on Twitch. So I thought this might be interesting to try out. I figured of all the things that I could do live here, um, this might be more appropriate since this is more geared towards the type of stuff that I do on my channel. So, um, hey, I appreciate you being out here. Tana Koala, you were here quick. Hey, what's up? So, um, so yeah, I thought maybe we would try this out. You know, if it works out, maybe we'll continue to do some more live here on YouTube. Um, but I thought this would just be a quick stream. What I'm going to be doing today right now, if you're listening to this, um, I'm using my normal microphone, which is the Behringer. I think this is a Behringer. I always mix between this Behringer mic and an Audio-Technica mic that I've got. Um, but we got some good stuff. Hey, how's it going, Eric? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're trying this out. Um, but yeah, so trying out some stuff that I got, um, from Mauno, the, the company that we did the review for their USB microphone that I've got, uh, on the shelf. I don't think you could see it, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, they sent that USB mic over. They had some other stuff that they wanted me to try. So I thought that, uh, doing it here on a stream might be cool. Um, we are going to be doing some studio headphones, which I'm really excited for these. If you can't tell these headphones that I use currently are pretty garbage. Um, I used to have a pair of Audio-Technica, like the ATH MX50, I think is what they're called, but they were like these amazing studio headphones that I had for the longest time, and my cats chewed up the cord. And I had the version of it where the cord was like permanently attached, like you couldn't like, this. so like basically I couldn't just buy a new cord, like when they chewed that, it was, it was donezo. So, I've, I just bought this cheap pair of headphones that was like 20 bucks on Amazon. And so when they were like, hey, we have some headphones we'd like for you to check out. I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely. I Please, please, like no matter what, <laughs> it's going to beat the heck out of this. So like we'll do that first. And then they've also sent this condenser studio microphone um, set, which I'm pretty excited to try this out as well because this is actually an XLR mic. Uh, I was getting a little bit tired of getting these USB mics sent over, you know, when I, I would really like a nice XLR setup. So I'm curious if this is going to beat my my daily driver because I've been very loyal to Behringer and Audio-Technica as my mic companies. But I don't know. I, I'm curious to see how this is, uh, is going to go. Apparently, it's the whole kit and everything. So if you're watching this video and it's not live, there's going to be like the chapter select and the, the timestamps in the description to kind of jump around because, you know, we're going to be covering a lot of different stuff in this. But if you're watching live, well, thanks for being here. And and yeah, feel free to, to say hi or lurk or whatever. Um, we'll go ahead and jump into it. So let me see here. So we'll be doing a little bit of everything here. Um, the exact model for these headphones is the AU mh 601s so the main thing that i saw when i was checking these out that interested me was um no not only did they look pretty comfortable but i guess i was trying to see if there was a way to show it on the picture but like basically there's a headphone jack in both of the 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 whatchamacallit the muffs <laughs> I, I don't want to call it that that sounds weird but basically what you can do is like it plugs into your computer but then you can also plug another pair of headphones into like the other one and it kind of like jumps off so like you could have two people listening you know they obviously don't have to have this exact same pair of headphones but like they you know you could plug in somebody else's headphones and they now you're both listening to everything um the only downside at all that i could think of to these was that they were like there's no wireless capability um or anything like that which is kind of whatever. Um, I never use these wirelessly because like even on really good Bluetooth, like there's always a little bit of a delay. So like, especially since I'm editing videos a lot of times that I'm here, I, I never use the wireless, but it's nice to have. Like I've paired these to my phone wirelessly plenty of times. So it's nice to have. But anyway, the features here, comfortable, foldable design, 50 millimeter drivers, um, extra long headphone cable. We'll see about that. Um, excellent sound isolation and the 3.5 millimeter and the 6.35 plug included, which is great. It, obviously, if you're doing studio monitoring, basically that's something that'll plug into like your mixer, your, your, you know, audio interface and all that stuff. So you can monitor your, your audio. And by the way, um, I've specifically turned off voice mod 
for this stream. Most of the time during my live streams, I have voice mod turned on. And the reason for that is because it has like a built-in noise gate, but I want all the audio in here to be 100% pure and, you know, no editing, none of this. That way, like if you guys are thinking about, you know, getting any of these products, then you'll be able to, to do all that right there. You'll be able to like see exactly how it is. But anyway, designed for studio tracking and mixing and suitable for listening to music. So we'll check it out. Again, this is the Mauno AUMH601. And I'll, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the headphones because like, you can't really, like you guys aren't gonna be able to tell the audio difference. You know what I mean? You guys are just gonna have to take my word for it. Um, like, whereas with the microphone, you'll be able to, to hear it a little bit. But, so we've just got uh, the microphones in here. So definitely way softer, way more padded than these little cheapo Amazon headphones that I've got. Um, they, which I mean, obviously, you know, these are like 20 bucks. These are like 60 bucks, I believe normally. So it's like, obviously I, I would hope that, you know, these are noticeably better feeling. They definitely are. Um, I don't know for sure. These almost feel like the type that would get kind of hot, you know, um, but we'll see. So um, looks like we've got that one as the left and the right. So, I mean, seems pretty solid. And then I think the cord is in here. And then we've just got, of course, the, the user manual, and that's that's pretty much it. So let's uh, let's set this down. I'm excited though to be using some decent headphones. So I hope these are these are good because these these have been good for 20 bucks. But I mean, like 20 dollar like headphones when you're trying to do like you know video editing, you're trying to get like crisp details. It's it's rough. So um, the cable is pretty long. Of course, these expand quite a bit. I mean. I always do like the wingspan test and, and yeah, like this is every bit of my wingspan and I like these with the, the angles on them now. I think, yeah, okay, so you can twist these off. Oh, okay, so cool, yeah, you can twist them off, make it a little bit of a smaller connector. You know, if you just wanna plug it into your phone or something like that. But if you do need the larger one to plug into, say, your, um, your sound mixer, then that's perfect, which is great. I'm gonna actually um, be doing that here in a second. So that way we can monitor the audio once we're testing out the um, the microphone there. So um, I guess let's just go ahead and take these bad boys off and let me uh, let me try this out. Hey, how's it going, VDA? Yeah, yeah, we're doing a YouTube stream today. Thank you for coming out, bro. We're we're trying some stuff out. Let me uh, take these things out. We're done with these, hopefully. So set those to the side there. And uh, let's see. All right, we're gonna take this off so that way I can plug it into my computer here. Um, let's see. All right, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this down before a terrible, terrible mistake takes place. <laughs> and uh, let's see, and yeah, we'll go ahead and take this out here, so. All right. And I do like that you can plug it into either one just because sometimes your computer or like your headphone source may be on your left. Now this feels really tight. I don't know for sure, but okay. Now, how do I look? How do I look? I mean, that's, that's, we all know that's 80% of a headphone's purpose. Now, okay. And again, I, I know that it's hard to tell the difference. Like you guys obviously can't tell the difference as far as how it's actually sounding, but the noise isolation is is way better. I'm trying to get these nice and tight because I mean, basically, again, we're comparing to like cheap twenty dollar Amazon headphones that I was using before. Um, the the noise isolation on those was non-existent. The padding is pretty comfortable. I mean, maybe not quite as it looked really comfortable. Like it looked like it'd be a cloud. It's it's like a little bit awkward shaped. I feel like, which then again, I have big ears and I'm wearing glasses, so like we'll give it that but they're almost like just a little bit bigger than I'd like. I think the the noise isolation would be even better if the like ear pads were just a little bit smaller. If that makes any sense. I feel like I have a big head and even then these are just a little bit too large. You know what I mean? Like as in there's like this extra gap here where I could I can tell some of the noise would definitely be getting out. But the quality, let me let me turn this up my music up a little bit here. The quality is definitely way better. The quality is 
like the best, the biggest, most stark difference. Well, that and the, the noise isolation. But like I said, that was, we're comparing that to zero. So, okay. I mean, these are definitely a solid, solid step up from what I was using before. And I don't know a lot about the headphone market, but I would say for the, the, the price of these, let me check on these one more time and get the current going rate for these. But I think they're like, excuse me, like 80 bucks or so. Um, Mauno, what were these? The um, MH601, I'm looking this up right here, MH601. So these are currently at, um, actually a little bit cheaper than I thought. Um, at least right now, these headphones are actually only about 40 bucks. So I would say easily, easily worth $40. Like, honestly, I would not have bought those headphones. Those headphones that I had for about $20 are so much drastically worse than this. So I would say for 40 bucks, these are a great, great steal um, because the quality is really, really good. The noise isolation is very solid. They're pretty comfortable. Um, and I, I like the flexibility, you know, like how it's got this other port. I was mentioning that earlier. So let me, let me actually... I guess I don't have any other headphones to try that out, but basically, so, so you can plug in another set of headphones in here and then they can actually jump off and be like listening to what you're listening to. It kind of creates like a daisy chain of the audio. So that's really cool. But overall, like I said, these are really comfortable, um, a little bit big and I, I have a big head. So I think that's saying something they're a little bit big. The cord is pretty long, a lot longer than that other one that I was using. And again, the noise, the noise isolation is incredibly solid on that. I mean, I think if they were just a little bit smaller, it'd be like perfect, but quality, I would give that like a solid eight out of 10, the isolation, like a seven. And then like the overall comfort and build probably like a, like a seven as well. But for 40 bucks, you know, right now, or even, even if you see them at like 50 or so, I would say that this is a really really good one. Cause like I said, I paid 20 bucks for some really cheapo headphones that were just enough to like barely get by. And yeah, so this is way better. Hey, what's up Deshaun? Thank you for coming out to the stream. Um, but yeah, just trying out these headphones and I'm kind of moving them around. They, it's kind of, they are, yeah, they're really good for that price. Now, if you have like a big budget to spend, yeah, I would recommend the Audio Technica. I think it's the ATHMX 50s though. Um, those are those will probably be like my favorite headphones forever. I mean, other than like once we start talking like big G money, you know what I mean, or anything like that. But these are these are definitely solid. And if you got 40 bucks, you need some nice monitoring headphones because that's actually the main thing. I would say that these are probably some of the best like cheaper studio monitor headphones. And when I say studio monitoring, I mean, for those of you, you know, a lot of you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but basically like it comes with this, you know, you could use it in here to, um, to plug directly into your audio interface and monitor your audio in real time, which we'll be doing a little bit more of that here in a sec. Yeah. Yeah. That big gamer money. That's right. VDA. When you got that big gamer money, you know, and you're spending a thousand bucks on some headphones, then maybe, you know, you got something else going on here. But right now, I'm a, I know myself, and I'm assuming most of you guys are are on that regular gamer money, and uh, and you might be more appealed by the forty dollar headphones, which is which is great. So so yeah, we'll be doing that now. What I am really interested in that we'll be trying out next is this uh, the Mauno condenser studio microphone set. So this is the whole shebang. Um, it's the mount pop filter the shock mount, um, XLR cable, all that good stuff. So literally the only thing that this doesn't come with is an XLR interface, it seems like. So we'll be trying that out. But anyway, um, this is the AUPM320S that we're going to be doing here. So um, curious to see how this works out. This is an XLR microphone. Now I've already tried their USB microphone. I've got the review video of that up um, and it, it was solid, but I am really curious how their XLR microphone stands. Now, what I am going to do here, um, let's see. I'm going to, and I'm almost curious how this would work here. I'm trying to, hmm. So I'm going to plug in this so that way I can do my, my monitoring of my XLR feed. Now, I'm curious. Let me see here. I'm plugging this into my, 
into my uh, interface here. Give me just a moment, boys and girls. And let's get this thing in here. And let's see. All right, so now I am monitoring my own audio, which I hate doing. <laughs> I always hate, because basically right now I can hear myself talking in real time. I'm not one of those people that has a big problem hearing my own voice. I mean, honestly, you know, I think every content creator is, is a little bit like arrogant in that way, but I don't like hearing it as I'm talking. Um, so let me see here. I wish that this cable for the headphones was a little bit like, I, I'm not a big fan of the, the curly cords. And I know that, um, you know, you can get a different cord for this, um, which is also nice. I do really appreciate that after having my animals chew up my, um, my, my cable on my older Audio-Technica headphones, you know, I really appreciate that. Now I'm wondering though, it'd be a little bit convoluted. I wonder if there is a way that I could somehow monitor my, like from my interface and still listen to my computer using the other one here, but I don't even know. Well, okay, okay. I'm gonna try something really, really crazy here. Give me one moment. Let's, let's just uh, hear me out here, folks. Well, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this auxiliary cable here just for kicks and, and giggles here boys and girls i'm gonna try all right so this is the cord that's coming from my my uh xlr interface here whoops i missed that all right so let me see wait a minute hold up okay so this is i'm actually just now noticing so these are different sized holes here so, I'm going to try and do this here. Give me a moment. Uh, where did the other adapter go? Okay. So, let's see. I think this might be more so what they had in mind. Let me try. So, right now I've got this plugged in here so that way we can monitor um, the, the aux I'm sorry, the interface. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try plugging in. I, I don't know for sure if this is the exact design that they've got in mind. So I'm going to plug in this random auxiliary, just regular sized auxiliary cable. I know we're getting a little bit crazy here. I'm going to plug it into the computer and see. Okay, so I've got like a, I can hear my music again, like coming from the computer. It's like, there's this really weird static though that's coming in, hold up. Let me try, hmm, that's so weird. Now I can't, okay, I'm trying it on different ports here. Let's see. And then let me, let me see here. Okay, so now I can hear this just fine, but as soon as I plug in both, which, Granted, that I guess that, that answers my question. This is not how it's supposed to go. Um, I know that you guys can't exactly see what's going on. So basically, when I've got it plugged in, one end going to my computer, um, I, which I was thinking, you know, so that way I can hear my music. Um, and then I've got this one going to my audio interface. I hear this weird, weird staticky. It's almost like they're, they're fighting, I guess. <laughs> which, I mean, makes sense. I didn't know for sure if it would, like, seamlessly go together or, or how exactly, because I've never had a pair of headphones with two auxiliary ports on it. So, seems kind of like you can only do one or the other. Um, but yes, VDA, you're definitely right. Um, aux cords are definitely fickle. Um, but it seems like, yeah, once I do just one or the other, it's great. There's no, you know, static, no, no anything like that. And what I'm hearing is perfect. This sounds amazing as far as like the monitoring, but as soon as I try to plug that other one in there, um, it all goes to crap. So um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I could do because that would be nice, but that's um, that's something just being a little hopeful here. Now, I'm almost curious, could this be used as a way to jump the audio out? Because that was kind of what I was under the impression of. You know, so like, I'm trying to think of an example here. Um, let me see. So let's see if I were to plug another pair of headphones in to this. I think that that may be what it's more designed for. So let's try that out.
Okay, so now, okay, I think this is working because now I'm hearing, I'm definitely, these are my old headphones, by the way, and I've got them plugged into the um, the Mono headphones, and I'm kind of testing this out, getting closer, and yeah, I can definitely, I'm monitoring it in here, so just to, just to make sure, yeah, when I unplug this, definitely I was not, I'm not able to hear myself in the monitoring, so that's pretty cool, um, so that way you can have multiple people monitoring the headphones, like by jumping it off, basically. Now, I'm trying to think of anything else that I would like to uh, to do here. Now, let's see, just for my own kicks here, what I was really hoping that I would be able to do is like plug these headphones into the computer and then also be able to listen to the computer here. Because a lot of times, Shantina and I will play games, you know, on the computer, but we like only one of us can have the headphones and like then the other ones just because I don't have any speakers on my on my computer I've just never really messed with it I'm always more of a headphones guy but that's like literally the only time let me see here so I'm gonna unplug this from my audio monitoring and I'm gonna plug the Mauno headphones to the computer and yes absolutely they do work that way so can freaking confirm it's just a little bit of a of a strange coordination basically so again these are my old headphones that i've got hooked up to the mono headphones here so you can totally share the uh, the audio on two different headphones using that port it's just basically you can't listen to the computer like your desktop and your audio interface at the same time for some reason it causes a lot of static there um however you can jump it off and then on both pairs of your headphones be listening to the audio monitoring or the desktop that's i know that that's a little bit a uh, little bit strange maybe even a little bit convoluted there so basically you can either listen to your audio interface for studio monitoring or you can listen to your desktop and and you can jump it off that way so that way you're listening to it on multiple pairs of headphones i'm assuming if i had like a bunch of pairs of these i could jump it off seemingly infinitely i don't know if there's a certain limit that like the audio starts to get diluted or whatever but but that is good to know that is good to know i was thinking it might be kind of neat to basically use this as two different inputs but but i think that that's the problem when you when you start setting it as two different inputs of any kind so like you're trying to pull from your audio interface and from your desktop you're not going to be able to listen to two different inputs at the same time however you can totally jump one input to an output there so that's good to know that is very good to know so we're gonna go ahead and you know put these put these guys back up thank you very much for your service headphones we appreciate you so all right all right let me get back up and roll in here so um i'm going to want to whoops actually let's see we'll go ahead and do this and put this back here into the audio monitoring jack okay so and the reason why i'm doing that is because i want to see a comparison here as far as the audio quality when we mix over or when we switch over these microphones so we're going to go ahead and open up the condenser studio so again this is the au pm 320s and this thing comes with pretty much everything now this set right here is a little under 70 bucks on amazon which to me is really, really, um, really, really like solid as far as getting all this different stuff here. Hey, how's it going, um, Grim Fate? Um, so let's see, some more sponsor headsets. So um, actually the cool thing is, is they, they've they not really sponsored the video in any way. They've just said, hey, um, we're gonna send you some stuff, give an honest review, you know, see how it goes and all that stuff. Technically they, they didn't even really require me to post it on my YouTube channel or anything like that. I just thought this might be a cool thing to test out for the, um, for the YouTube live stream. I was like, well, I don't want to just like play a game cause I don't really do that here on my YouTube channel, but, um, I'm just like, here's some stuff. Tell us what you think, you know, and, and all that. So, um, but yeah, so I am curious to try this out here. Um, and now on the back, of course, it's got, whoa, okay. I was like, wait a minute, which way? So the polar pattern right here, it's, uh, it's basically a cardioid. If you're not familiar, which I know it's also really hard to tell with my camera here. Um, but, uh, let's see. Um, so I'm taking a look here at some of the specs. And so, yeah, this comes with a three pin XLR, 
Um, it's a cardioid and everything, so cool, cool. Um, it looks like, I believe that the mount that it comes with is literally the exact same mount that I currently have, I think, <laughs> but we'll see. So I may not mess with setting that up because I think it is literally, literally the exact same mount. Not just like shaped similarly, but I think it is the exact same mount. Because I was looking at the pictures of it on Amazon and I could not tell the difference, but I may be wrong. So um, you open it up and this is what we've got here. We have got, um, let's see, it looks like it comes with a, a wind cap, which this is a really strange it's really matted i guess either that or maybe the microphone is a little bit slimmer than i thought because it seems like it it seems like when you put your hand in it even it seems like it wouldn't stretch out that much but we'll see um so it comes with a card here whoops oh well i didn't mean to just <laughs> completely disregard that but hey um user manual all that good stuff right here so it actually comes with a really cool um pop filter i like that they put their logo on the pop filter like that that's uh, kind of a neat touch so i don't normally use pop filters honestly but it is nice that they come with them i i just i don't like the aesthetic of them and i know that that is like so um whatchamacallit like superficial of me but i just really don't like the aesthetic of pop filters but anyway we'll see uh maybe it maybe it needs it so once we go underneath here let's see what we've got okay so i'm gonna throw that trash there for now um, we've got these little silicone gel things that, that you need to keep away from your dog so your dog doesn't eat them. Um, and then, so here we've got the mount. And let me look. I think, is this the exact, so what I've got as far as my mount for my, my microphone right now is like an InnoGear um, mount that I use. I got it on Amazon for like 30 bucks. I think this is the exact same mount. I'm looking at them right now. This might be just a little bit different. Actually, no. I'm looking at it right now. I think, if not, okay, technically, 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 this is just a little bit different. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to tell, I know, just looking at these. But basically, these are extremely similar. I don't know if maybe the size on here is just a little bit different as far as what the the attachment size is but we'll see I'm hopefully I don't have to mess with setting this thing back up because honestly I like the way that I've got my other one yeah it's definitely slightly different I'm taking a look at like some of the screws on here this is very similar if you go to Amazon and like look up you know microphone desk stand clamp or whatever you're gonna get something that looks almost identical to this but just know this is a little bit different this does seem like one that they've made um, you know, like, I don't know, this, this right here seems to be a little bit different. Like the, the, whatchamacallit, the clamp or not really that, but like the right here where you kind of screw this tighter or looser. Um, but yes, this is a V, uh, <laughs> I was about to say, this is a VDA microphone. This is an XLR microphone VDA. And Hey Reese, how are you doing? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this away. I'm hoping I don't have to mess with setting this up. Like I'm hoping that it will just fit on my existing stand, but who knows? Um, so it has a little Velcro strap here, Mono, and uh, and it comes with an XLR cable, which is nice. Um, I'll definitely use their XLR cable. Um, the XLR cable that I'm using right now is just a Amazon Basics, so I don't imagine that this is going to be any kind of a downgrade. <laughs> you know, it's not like it's not like I've got some gold-plated XLR cable right now. So um, I doubt that this, in and of itself, will make a big difference, but. Like I said, it, I, I definitely don't believe it will hurt. So i um, trying to think of the fastest way to set this up. You know what? We'll kind of, we'll hold everything till the very end. How about that? Um, now this right here is, well, I'll go back one step real quick. So this is the attachment that goes, that actually goes on to your mount to mount it or clip it to your, uh, to your desk here. Voice detailed attraction. You're starting your own, <laughs> you're starting your own microphone company. I'm doing pretty good, Reese. So um, let me go back, actually. So this is the shock mount, which is really cool. I've never had a microphone that used a shock mount, so I don't know a lot about them. I'm kind of like, what is this exactly? But basically, yeah, or, or not really a, I don't even know. So yeah, basically the microphone sits in here, and I think it keeps you from like touching it. So instead of like, so for example, yeah, this is my microphone. You know, I, I think it's meant to absorb a lot of that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of talking out of my butt here but we'll see we'll see so anyway we've got one more piece to the puzzle and that would be 
the microphone itself. So solid looking microphone. This looks a lot like the, um, what is it? The Audio Technica. It's a certain Audio Technica microphone that the, the one that Lotus look, uh, the one that Lotus uses, and a lot of other folks. It looks a lot like that. Which then again, a lot of you know cardioid XLR microphones are kind of a, a similar look here, but not a bad looking microphone. Feels incredibly sturdy. I will definitely give it that. Like this feels like it's got some weight in my hands here. I I like it. Um, the build quality, like good very good <laughs> yeah yeah vda I, yeah i i agree this does look pretty sleek i i definitely like the look so speaking of that you know i always say half the purpose of a microphone is to look cool um and this microphone that i've got does not look cool <laughs> at all that's why i keep it out of the shot it doesn't look cool at all so i'm hoping this sounds as good as this does because uh, don't get me wrong. I'm a Behringer and Audio-Technica fanboy, but a lot of the stuff that they have, especially Behringer, you know, Behringer definitely doesn't go for the flashy stuff. Behringer, I do love. You get good bang for your buck. You get great quality for not very expensive, but, you know, I don't think that their main audience is streamers, whereas Mauno, I definitely believe they're going for the streamers, the YouTubers, and they went with a cool design. So, anyway, we'll see here. Um, now, my hope is, I, I don't think that I can, though, um... Hmm. So yeah, the XLR cable goes in there. I don't know for sure, like I said, how to actually put this in this mount. <laughs> I, anybody who's used these types of mounts before is gonna be looking at me like an absolute idiot right now. Um, I, which, hey, maybe we'll actually have to read the user manual. Um, so we'll see here. Um, do I stream on YouTube now? Um, I don't necessarily, you know, I'm not really 100% sure on that reason. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of trying this out. You know, we'll see. I'm, I'm open to trying some other stuff out. I just thought, hey, this might be a good thing to stream on YouTube instead. So, you know, I kind of thought, all right, we'll do it random, unannounced. I'm not going to put any hype around this. We'll see how it goes. And yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, I don't know how to actually get this like opened to where I can put the mic in it. Whoops. I don't know. That did not sound good. So I see... We've got these clamps here. Oh, I think, I feel like I'm about to break it. I mean, I see like when I do this, it opens it up a little bit, but I, like I said, I feel like I'm about to break it, but I don't know. I, maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely wrong here. Okay. So let me try. I think this does work. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I think I just got a man up here and squeeze it open just a little bit just to get that in there. Yep, that's it, okay. So you squeeze that just a little bit and then there you go. And I guess this makes sense. It's meant to be in there very tight. Um, I think that that's kind of the main purpose of these is that it's like this mic, this dude ain't going nowhere. So um, cool, 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 cool. So let me just, yeah, rips it apart. Um, so never mind that that part of the review on the build quality, that that went down a couple scores. No, not, not really. Um, so this looks cool. Like I said, definitely looks a lot cooler than what I'm running right now. So I hope the sound is uh, is just as good as the audio quality. So, you know, I, I definitely like it. It's sturdy. Um, and I could see this definitely absorbing some of the, the sound here, but we'll, we'll try it out. Now, I think I am gonna have to use their mount, unfortunately, because <laughs> um, I think that this is a different sized attachment here, this, um, I don't know the exact size here, but just looking at the, basically the, well, actually, yeah, I think that theirs is a slightly different size. Whoops, I know that that probably just sounded great. But basically what I'm looking at here is like this little metal piece here. I think that this one right here is maybe a little bit smaller. It's hard to say exactly. You know what? Let me, let me see here, but I've never been able to successfully even get this piece off of here. So I know that you've got to be able to, but let me, let me see here. Yeah, I've never been able to get this off of here personally, and I don't know exactly why. I'm trying to think if there's any tool that I'm missing. I've never been able to get this off of here, and I'm not sure exactly why if I like Hulk slammed it when I was doing it. You know what though? For the purpose of the review, I'm gonna do this for you guys. I'm gonna put put their mount on. We're gonna test it out all in all <laughs> and, and see how it goes. I figure that's gonna be our best way to get some good results here. So let me see. What I'm gonna do is I'll set theirs up alongside mine 
um, that'll be the quickest way to get this up and running. So we will see everything that we've got here. Um, all right, so let's put her together. So these are usually really simple to do here. Um, let's see. All right, all right, all right. And I'm gonna unscrew this a little bit here and I guess we will go ahead and let's see. We'll get this, ooh, all right, all right, all right. Trying to think, okay, so this goes right in here and once we get this, we'll tighten it down quite a bit. We do want it to have a little bit of give here and voila, that's literally pretty much it. And then the gold piece on the, on the end of the microphone screws in here. So I'm gonna just kind of clamp this here to my desk. We're gonna have two of these bad boys set up for some comparison purposes. So, all right, again, I'm sure that sounded great here, guys. Whoops, all right. All right, that'll do. And yeah, and I guess, you know, we can also compare this, yeah, I mean, the stand is the stand. The stand is like really no better or worse, I think, than this this other one that I'm using that is obviously very similar. Um, I can tell that it is different. They are not exactly the same. There are certain, and like the, the polish or like the finish on the metal or, you know, on here is a little bit different. This looks more like matted, whereas this looks more painted, I guess, but we're talking very minimum things here. Hey, what's up, Alvin Fly? Um, thank you for coming out to the stream, man. Um, but yeah, so this right here, yeah, pretty much exactly the same, slightly different. What mic did I get? So we are trying out the uh, the Mauno, what is this right here? The Mauno PM320S that they sent over. Um, it's an XLR microphone and we're gonna see how it goes. So well, I guess I guess I probably should have put the, the shock mount, screwed this in first before sliding the microphone in, but hey, we'll uh, we'll see here. Yeah, the same stand, yeah, exactly. It's like, that stand is like, all right, let's see. That stand is really great. I've been using this stand for a while and it was like 30 bucks. And this is definitely like the same thing at its core, the one that comes with this, but yeah. Like it, it seems to be, like I said, essentially the exact same thing. It's different enough to where I can tell that like, it's not literally just a recycled one now. All right, let's see, let's, I think this is gonna need to be like incredibly tightened up because this microphone's pretty heavy. So let me see here. I think, yeah, this is one that you want to have tightened like to the max here on like everything, I think. So yeah, like that. And then, damn, I feel like this is already tightened up, but okay. So yeah, this is, oh man, <laughs> I guess I did not have this as uh, secure to my desk as I thought I did. So let me readjust that because this mic is pretty heavy like a lot heavier than the other microphone. So um, we almost had an accident there. So uh, make sure that you guys are, uh, you know, assembling this with care, uh, a little bit more care than I did, just kind of throwing that together. So let's see here. Let me clamp this to a little bit of a better, more secure part of my desk. <laughs> I mean, let's see here. Let's see here. Let me, whoops, you know what? This also pro tip, hindsight 2020, this is a lot easier when you are not doing it with the microphone actually attached. Pro tip, you know, you that's a freebie. So, all right. Cause yeah, this microphone is very heavy, like a lot heavier than it looks. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know exactly, like, I'm sure it says somewhere on the box, like what the weight is, but like a lot heavier than that that Behringer microphone that I was using, which was essentially weightless. So, come on. Woo, sorry about that. All right, so I think we're just about good here. Let's see, let's try to not have the microphone fall and bust my monitor, because that'd be a fantastic way to, uh, to wrap up the stream. All right. Let's tighten it up. All right, so 
All right. Now we are cooking with grease, boys and girls. So we've got it up. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, now that everything's tight, like, and let me just, I'll move this thing down here and we'll switch over to the actual Mano microphone here in a sec. Um, you got to get this thing tight though. Cause like, like, which granted, maybe let me try pushing this down just a little bit further in the, uh, in the thing that might also help us out. I think that's going to help us out quite a bit actually. Yeah. I feel like that will, because I feel like, like a slight, you know, a slight tap and it moves a lot more than I would like for it to with just a slight tap because I'm really like hulking these to get these as tight as possible. Okay. That, that did help. Um, let me see here. Get that as tight as possible. Now this, I feel like should be able to get a lot tighter, but I guess that's it. Like this, I feel like sh has more to go, but maybe not. Okay. So I guess that that's good. Now, now we're going to get to the real test of fate. I'm going to use their XLR cable and everything, even though, you know, I'm sure that's not really a huge, huge deal. So let me see here. Let me grab the other end here. But just so we've got pure testing, you know, we'll do all that. So let's see. All right. All right. So cool. About to unplug my, my other microphone here. And you guys will start hearing this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, if I can find it. All right, Ooh, that was painful. <laughs> I think you guys could hear that. Um, this is obviously way loud. All right, so I've turned the gain way, way down there. <laughs> Um, that was incredibly loud there at first. Um, so let's see. And yes, Alvin Fly, this is the PM320S, I think. This one right here. I don't know for sure if it's the same one here. Um, now this sounds, you know what? I'm, I'm going to mute the, uh, let's see. I'm going to mute the, the music here. But based off what I'm hearing in my monitoring, this is solid. This is solid right here. Um, and how much was everything together? So uh, the, the kit that they sent me um, normally is about 60 bucks on Amazon. Not bad, but yeah, it's everything all together. Um, even comes with a pot filter. But like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but this does not sound bad. And I'm like really close to the microphone right now, which granted, I've got the gain really low. So I don't know, is this too quiet? But let's test out some, some plosives. The plosives are like not bad considering how close I am to this. And it comes with, you know, this guy right here and a pop filter. Um, let's see. So let me see. So I'm kind of curious, like as far as the directional. So I've got this really close right now, like really, really close, which granted my gain is incredibly low. Like the gain on my, on my mixer is a solid, like, like I'm trying to think like if, if the dial were a clock, I'm at like nine o'clock, you know what I mean? So like a solid, like 30% and I normally keep it closer to halfway, make some peas. So the, the plosives are honestly not bad. Like I thought for sure that was going to do one, but I didn't hear it here in the monitoring the plosives. Okay. So there we got one, but again, it comes with a pop filter and this normally these little, these windscreens in and of themselves are enough to save this. So we're going to try putting this guy on here. So pretty people, pretty people possess positive pounds. I mean, like I, I got this mic, like I'm up on it as you guys can see. So let me know what, what are you guys thinking about the, the audio so far compared to what I was using that Behringer microphone. So let me also try, like we've got it pointed. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's meant more so to be like right here. Yeah. Because now I'm facing like the top of it. And now like I'm also facing the back of it right now. And yeah, it's, it's definitely meant to capture just right here in the front, which is great, which is great. You know, a condenser microphone is really good for vocals like this because, um, basically it, it only captures a little bit, but it captures it at a really high quality. Whereas this, uh, this Behringer microphone is a dynamic microphone. So it is going to be capturing a little bit of everything, but at a really high quality. I mean, at, at a really like 
average meh quality but it's capturing like everything whereas this right here you know is pretty ideal now the only thing like right now yeah i can tell that it's if it's far away from me it's pretty quiet now this can be fixed if i turn the gain up on my mixer but at the gain you can tell like this this quality has gotten noticeably less there's static and like you can just tell that it's peaking the audio is peaking really badly and Woo! all right so that was my mixer way up high So this is my mixer at about halfway, which is where the Behringer microphone, where I usually kept the Behringer microphone at TBH, um, was at about halfway. Now, like I said, I think this microphone, a condenser microphone is gonna work better at about the 30 to 40% range on the, the gain on the mixer there. Um, but this is a really slick looking microphone. You know, the, the shock mount is really nice. Um, I'm impressed with the quality overall. Now, it's definitely one that, that needs to be used close up and pretty low on the gain. And with, now, let's see, where'd that pop filter go? Let me, let me try this boy out here. So the pop filter, like I said, I'm not a big pop filter guy. Um, I, I don't love them to death. They just get in the way when you're talking like streaming and YouTubing and all that stuff. But we'll go ahead and use this thing to its full potential here um, and, and use what they gave me here. Cause I do wanna, you know, show i guess the full experience here that you would be getting um let's see so we're i'm just gonna like put this real quick on the mount nothing you know too scientific about where i'm putting it and you know what let's move this dude out of the view here because uh because that ain't important no more and now we've got the pop filter in front of it as well and now there should be like pretty much no plosives like yeah there's nothing right now as far as plosives which i mean We've got that that windscreen there, and we've got this right here, the pop filter. So powerful people peeing on, on, I don't know, powerful people peeing on powerful pineapples. Yeah, nothing, nothing as far as the, uh, nothing as far as the, uh, the plosives go right now with with both of those combined. So that that's really good. This is a pretty good quality. Um, pop filter and I like that they put their logo on it. That's just a nice little touch I mean, I've got like three pop filters up there and none of the other companies put their logo on it. That's just kind of cool You know, um, the stand i'm not crazy about I will say that the stand is Is like this mic is a little too heavy for this stand for sure for sure um Which granted it's like a really cheap like 30 dollar stand. So you know, that's that's going to be par for the course, honestly. You you are not going to get the best stand. And I don't love the XLR cable placement. Because um, right now my XLR cable is just kind of like... Which I guess you can route this on your mount. It's a little tricky though. Because basically, like the... Alright, you know what? I'm going to take this pop filter off. Because like I said, I'm not a pop filter kind of guy. Um, I think if, if most streamers and YouTubers aren't really pop filter guys. Because... It covers up your face, you know? Um, now, if I was doing, like, voice acting or, like, audio-only podcasting, you know, then I, I would definitely use that because that, that definitely helps out on the plosives, like, a lot. Um, so, let's see here. So, try it without the filter thingy. The Yeah. So, I let's see here. So, this this is it all necky. And really, it, it doesn't get the plosives that badly. You definitely notice like I got one there where I was not getting them earlier. Um, the audio quality is like a lot crisper this way. You know what I mean? Like it, it, you can definitely tell once I put the, the cap on, like it, it still sounds really good though. But again, like the, the plosives, very small, very small plosives on the P sounds. Like I've got to be like really pushing it pushing it but like if i just say it normal like pushing it you know it, it's a lot more subtle which then again also i'm like right up on the mic so for the most part you're not going to get a lot of plosives out of that you know unless like i'm trying like i am kind of right now where i'm like powerful but even then that's like me putting quite a bit of emphasis on that and you're it's still not really that bad but necky we're gonna make him necky again and like now I, the audio is just a little bit crisper but you can also hear like every little like even even sometimes my breath on it, you know, is is a little bit much. Um, yeah, like VDA said, without the filter, it does sound a little bit more like a podcast, and I do agree. Um, 
the audio is definitely like a little bit crisper without that. Now, I wonder, you know, if I could just simply kind of move it away a little bit, you know, and that, that should help out quite a bit, like powerful people. Oh yeah. Like there's like almost none when I've actually got at a reasonable distance from me. Um, it's powerful people. I mean, okay. We got one there. Powerful people podcasting. Yeah. Like nothing. And it's like, I don't know, like this much distance from me, you know, my, my uh, middle finger to my thumb here. So like, and, and I, it still sounds like it's getting me at a per- perfectly good volume. So I think that's the trick with this is as fun as it is to be like right up on your microphone. Don't do it. Cause you're going to get a lot of uh, plosives here. Um, but, or you can be like kind of a more reasonable distance here. Now also we can adjust the gain further. We can make it like really low gain. And now I can be right up on the microphone, powerful people. Okay. Still pretty. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think this microphone is best at about like 30% gain. You start getting much higher up closer to like the 50%. And there's like that kind of steady, like background noise or static. Lower it down to about 30, like 20, 30% really. And I can really hear like almost no, um, you know, background noise. The plosives are not bad at all at like this distance here um, at all. Yeah, they're really not bad at all. I'm, I'm like thoroughly impressed because this whole set is like 60 bucks. So um, if you're watching this live, I don't believe that I've got links right now. But once this um, goes up and you can watch the VOD, I'll have Amazon links where you can buy all the products that we've talked about in the video here. Um, and of course, as always, buying from the links does support the channel. So, you know, if you, if you do want to get any of these products, by all means do so there. Um, but so this sounds really good. In fact, like I dare say, I think this is going to become my daily driver microphone, you know, for the time being, at least, um, this is a really solid mic right here and using it at a decent distance is really good. It's capturing my vocals. I think a lot crisper than the, uh, than the, than the Behringer microphone that I was using at the beginning of this video was now that mic is good as far as capturing the whole like area here, but you don't need that. Like, that's not a good thing for most YouTubers and streamers, you know, like I'm, I'm just needing to capture just my voice, but at a really high quality. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a good, you know, an Alvin flies over there vouching for it. This is a good entry level mic. If you've got a mixer, the main problem right now is Rona is making it really hard to get, um, audio interfaces. Um, I've, I've been running into that on the project that I'm working on where I'm recommending new streamers and, and stuff gear. Um, I, I, I've been wanting to recommend to them XLR microphones, but I can't because like, it's so hard to get a mixer right now or an audio interface. But if you got one, this is solid. 60 bucks will get you the mic, the, the mount, which like I said, eh, um, and the pop filter, the boom thing. I, I personally am digging this naked raw, you know, however you want to put it. Um, no, no windscreen, no pop filter or anything like that. Um, I'm liking it as is, but my main thing, like I said, the microphone sounds fantastic. Um, the pop filter really nice. The windscreen is pretty good as well. It's a little bit bigger than the microphone actually needs, but the mount is my main complaint. The microphone is just a little bit too heavy for the mount and for the, um, for the, the shock here, but you know, it's really good. It's, it's doing its job. It looks really cool. I say for 60 bucks, this is like a really, really solid XLR setup to go for. I think personally, like I said, my main complaint is the mount, but you can upgrade that later. It's definitely good enough to get you going. And the XLR cable placement is not the greatest, um, with it being kind of down right here. I know that you can route it inside your mount. It's a little bit crazy to do that, but you know, it can be done. I personally, um, prefer it to be kind of on the side or something like that makes it a little bit easier to do those type of routes, but you know, maybe depending on your setup, that may not even be a big deal. Um, if you've got a better way, which, you know, after this, I may kind of play around with it and see if there is some better placement, but personally, those are my main two things. The mount itself, not that great, but again, it comes with it. So you can't really complain too much about that. And the XLR cable placement are really the only two major downsides to this, but overall for the money, I've not seen an XLR mic setup that would beat this. You know, I've spent the amount of money that will get you this whole getup. I've spent on the microphone itself and it didn't sound this good. So that's kind of the, the bottom line right here for 60 bucks. You're getting a heck of a setup.
yeah, like Alvin Fly said, it's mainly the fact that it comes with all that for 60 bucks. That is that is cool as hell. I, I completely agree with you on that. You know, like this microphone itself for 60 bucks, like, eh. But like the fact that you're getting all this other stuff, you know, I already have a mount that is, as we've discussed, almost identical. But like, you can't have too many mounts. You absolutely can't. You know, you can't have too many pop filters. I've got like three pop filters that I'm not using. And I'm gonna add this to that collection. But it's nice. It's, it's nice to be, you know, having extra stuff like that. So this sounds really good. And now I'm almost curious. I'm going to, you know, try pairing this with voice mod too. Cause I use voice mod a lot, you know, to get rid of some of the extra background noise, but I don't even know if it's going to be like that required or that necessary. Um, I'm going to like maybe do some extensive testing. Now I'm going to bore you guys with that just to see. Cause I usually used on my old mic, I used voice mod for like some background noise reduction, um, kind of like a noise gate filter live. And I don't even think that that's going to be like super necessary for this. I don't know for sure. We'll try it out some, you know, see how it goes, but I think this is fine. Um, so let me see here. And then as far kind of going back to the headphones, now that I've used these pretty extensively throughout the course of the video, the headphones are really great. Um, I really like that you can jump them off. So basically, you know, you can share the monitoring with somebody else. So not only is it really cool that it's got the size jack that's appropriate, you know, for studio monitoring. So you can listen to your audio live while you're recording it and you're doing your podcasting and everything like that. It's also got that other jack so you can plug in another set of headphones and somebody else can monitor it with you. Or you can use it just plain old plug it into your computer and be listening to what's coming out of your computer. And somebody else can also be listening to your computer audio at the same time. And that's also really, really cool. Um, just being able to jump off like that. Not a lot of headphones do that. And I think more should, because it's a neat feature. They're really comfortable. I've been wearing them for about an hour now almost, and they're pretty solid. Like I've, I was worried initially that they'd be too hot, but I've not like really noticed my ears getting all sweaty and everything like that. And I've got lights on me and everything. So I think I definitely would have by now. Um, and it's in the middle of summer. So these are really good. You know, I, I was worried that they'd be too hot, but they're not really. So with that being said, they're comfy. They're a little bit big. And I say that as a guy with a big head. Um, but other than that, that's kind of the only thing with that. Um, so they're, it's not really a problem how big they are. They are just a little bit big, and I feel like it would make the noise isolation better if they were just a smidge, and I mean just a smidge, smidge smaller. But the noise isolation is great. Um, they're 40 bucks, and I've had headphones for like 20 bucks or so that were way worse. So like spend just a smidge more and get some actual studio monitoring headphones. I'll never make that mistake again. Like if you're going to spend 20 bucks, save up just a little bit more and get these because these are going to be better than any of the other like cheaper headphones that you get. So yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. But the quality is fantastic. The noise isolation is good. And yeah, <laughs> you know, the, the features are really nice that it, that it splits up like that. So um, but yeah, let's see. Oh, voice mod. Yeah. Voice mod album fly. It's a really cool program. Um, it's like 30 bucks and it's what a lot of people use for like the different, um, voice filters. It's really great. If you don't have a like go XLR, um, you know, to do like the audio effects, you can do it there on your computer. Um, 30 bucks as opposed to like 500 bucks for a go XLR. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not quite as, uh, as easy to, it's easy to use as a, uh, as a go XLR. I don't think. Um, mainly the main thing is that there's no physical device. Like I, I like having a physical device. That's why I'd love to get like a stream deck or a go XLR one day. But like right now I definitely cannot, um, justify the cost or anything like that. So yeah. Um, will I be streaming tomorrow? I'm not hundred percent sure. So just everybody make sure you got notifications on, which it seems like you guys do because I, I threw this stream kind of out of nowhere and just to, just to experiment and see where we'd be at. And, uh, so yeah, thank you guys for coming out. I, I would love to do some more streams on here. I'm going to kind of see how this goes. Um, you know, as far as how everything works here, as far as streaming on YouTube, but otherwise, you know, still maybe plan on some Twitch streams and everything like that. But, uh, do I use it for recording also? Yes, I use voice mod for a lot of my recordings as well. It kind of replaced me having to do post-production like used to, I would, you know, record straight from the microphone and then do like noise removal. But voice mod kind of saved me that step. It, it basically has like a noise removal filter built into it and it was really good. I like tweaked it to get it to where it was just subtle enough but basically, yeah, it, it almost like it won't record unless it can tell you're talking. 
Um, and so it was really nice. You know, it didn't quite sound like I was talking to Discord either. Like if you watch any of my recent videos on my YouTube channel, just like you can use that as an example. Like that was using voice mod as the audio recorder um, where like I didn't do a dang thing of a uh, post-production on there. Just recorded it and boom, edit, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, no actual noise reduction or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I use it for recording quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so that's it. But yeah, other than that, guys, um, hit me up in the discord. If you guys have any other questions or anything, be glad to help you guys out. Got a really cool video project that I'm working on. Hopefully within the next week, we'll be seeing that. So, um, if you're not already subbed to the channel, please be sure to go do that. Give this video a thumbs up, whether you're watching it live or, or not. Um, but yeah, follow me on Twitter. Links for everything will be in the description below. Um, I also have my kit.com profile where I got a lot of gear recommendations on there and I'm adding more pretty regularly. So if you're in the mood for some new stuff, you don't know where to go. Peep that. I'm gonna need that. That's right. <laughs> but thank you guys for being a part of the first YouTube stream on this channel. This will maybe be legendary. I don't know guys, but um, thank you guys for being a part of that. Cause, uh, yeah, I was pretty, pretty happy to see that we had any viewers at all. I was like, I'm not even going to announce this on Twitter or discord. I'm gonna just throw it out there, but yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm heading out you guys. But for now, I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a nice day and goodbye.